Hi, my name is Tim Burns. I'm an application engineer at ATI. I've been with the material removal team since its inception, focused on finding the right deburring tool for customers' projects. I'm here to introduce the CDB, the Compliant Deburring Blade. I want to tell you what makes it unique and how it can benefit your material removal cell. You may be familiar with our motorized compliant tooling, which have been on the market since about 2005, but this tool is fairly different. So, what is the CDB? It's the first engineered tool on the market to add compliance to hand deburring blades. This utilizes ATI's trusted X, Y pivoting compliance and combines it with a hand tool every machinist is familiar with. So how does it work? Off the shelf scraping and deburring media can be loaded into the CDB, enabling X, Y radial and Z compressive compliance. This means you can take cutting media out of your favorite tool holder and into your new robotic deburring cell. Now there's no motor in this tool. The blade slides or scrapes via robot articulated motions. Air energized compliance allows for variable cutting force. If you need a lighter touch or want to push a little harder against a tougher material, you can. A quick turn lockout changes the compliance motion from 360 joystick-like motion to a single axis pendulum-like motion. What are the unique benefits of the CDB? The compliant to burning blade unlocks automated material removal for thermoplastics and unfilled thermosets. Traditional high-speed spindles can often melt plastics or burn thermosets, but since the CDB does not use a motor, it can move slow enough to not degrade the materials. The lack of rotary spindle also reduces the chance of chatter in tight features, such as tight interior corners or small diameter holes. You can countersink holes under a half inch diameter without ruining the part finish. The CDB also has automatic media changing. This allows you to use a variety of blades or replace blades once they're dull safely without additional downtime. One more understated benefit of non-motorized tool is that it's quiet. No motor means that there's no loud exhaust and there's low usage of plant air or the target applications. This tool can be used anywhere hand swivel or countersink blades are used. Now the CDB uses machinist hand blades, so a great use case of this would be machine tending where you pull parts from a CNC, deburr them with our tool, the CDB, and rack them. It works with all metals, from copper to cast iron, but it's especially useful for plastics that would otherwise melt with a traditional high-speed spindle. Let's talk about specs. The CDB is two and a half pounds, so it's viable on a wide range of industrial or collaborative robots. The five and a half degrees of compliance travel and five to 15 pound force range allows the robot to mimic the hand movements and force of a human operator. Axial and radial compliance allows you to account for variation in part size, feature location, and fixturing. For more information on the CDB or our other tools, please visit our website, ati-ia.com. Thanks.